Green Manor and we are here on the public ferry we wait here it's 2 o'clock it's 3 public ferry 9 o'clock 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock maybe I'm not too sure and we're going to the quietest of the islands yes the three islands is Gilly Air, Gilly Manor, Gilly Tea uh, Gilly Air is uh, the medium quiet island Gilly Manor is the quiet one and Gilly Tea is the party one, the everyday parties. And we decided we want to go for the quiet one. Yeah, we're boarding, so yeah, so uh, take, we'll take you on the boat with us. Yeah. This is Gilly Menno, a very small island. I like it already. Awesome yeah, we like here. it because it's quiet and the water is so clean. Yep. And you've got a view of mountains. Uh, there's no cars or motorbikes, which is great. Yes. So quiet. So peaceful without motorbikes. So another reason why we already love it. The taxis here are... Four strong carriages, that is the taxi. It reminds me of Rayleigh, like Rayleigh? Yeah. Okay, so we have arrived at our accommodation. This is the surrounding. Um, this is called Gilly Garden Bungalows, I think. This is ours. Mine and Cash's. Nice seating area outside. Go through here. I made a mess. Our bed. Aircon. Not the best aircon I got with me. I made this whole mess. How could Probably. And the bathroom. So it's okay. It's still quite hot in here, so the aircon is not amazing. But it's still cute. We're the only guests in this resort today. So we're only uh, a couple of hundred meters from the beach. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head to the beach and have a look, just to have a little explore because we haven't seen anything yet. A couple of minutes, we are on the beach. Should we go have a look at the beach? That's Gilly Tea. <laughs> so close. So we are in between Gilly Air and Gilly Tea. Gilly Tea is the big one. Surely we can swim there. So the beach is very rocky, corally. That's the first no notice. So only two kilometers in length, one kilometer in width. So it's very easy to walk around the whole island. Uh, we're on the sunset side of the island. Uh, there's some, there's just no one, no one at all. But yeah, the thing, the beach isn't great itself because it's so rocky and corally. But we came here for snorkeling. So. But we came here to snorkel, which we're going to do tomorrow morning. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it and relax really we're gonna walk all the way around for you okay. this has got I like this like little seating area with a table in the middle but no one look at these you can lock your stuff away if you go swimming yeah okay our favorite place so far friends from the boat I'm gonna go check out their camping area. Hello! Hello! Hello. We found you! Hey! Ah, this is lovely! You wow. can do camping here with no problem. And you got the sunset. Huh? <laughs> so it's just a restaurant, like very relaxed restaurant, upon relaxed restaurant along the beachfront. Like this. Hello. That's nice. 
we might not stay for this sunset here because we're going to walk around the island but we're here for a few days so we're going to catch sunsets so, so we're going to show you it. we'll still show you what the sunset's going to be Just like keep watching keep watching but you say this is it this is like it relax all along this side which is really nice and like stuff like this so we come to the bottom of the island now it's very rocky like we were told uh, by a girl who's volunteering on this island that this is where people surf but I'd be not so sure I want to surf in somewhere so rocky maybe it's for more experienced surfers or maybe a bit further around that's the Bali volcano oh wow Agung come around the other side and that's Gili Air over there another small one and the water looks a lot cleaner here the strong currents by the looks of it and Mount Ranjani somewhere behind those clouds it's nice sand here as well So such a stark contrast down this side. Look, abandoned resorts. ATM. Abandoned ATM, rubbish. Um, the beach is nice, however, but it's people go for the sunset side. So if you ever on Gili Minnow, stay the sunset side. And we come to where we started on the boat originally. Uh, we'll go up here. We're at Karma Beach Resort and again abandoned. Very calm. <laughs> Very calm. Very abandoned. Unfortunately. So this side of the island's definitely taken a hit from COVID. Because the lights are on but Yeah. Interesting. Stopped in Yaya Warung. Yeah. We're having curry. We had a cheese toasty. We've oh, already we eaten that. So now we're going to try this curry and see how it is. It's 45, so it's not bad. Yeah. Good. Nice. Very nice. Okay. We'll do this when we carry on. I assume we can walk around the rest of the island anyway in the dark. But we'll try. So we come back. Oh, the air conditioning is amazing. Uh, before now. But before we said the aircon is bad, but now actually we can feel Yeah, it exactly. Good. Now we've come back. I think it's it, actually really it's good. just been so hot through the day. Maybe that's why it wasn't working so well, because it was so hot everywhere. Yeah, we didn't realize, so... But now it's cool. So we're going to get freshened up and go to sleep. And we walked through a lot, but we didn't show you because it was dark. But it's a lot of cute restaurants. So many. The sad thing is, so far we noticed there's barely any tourists not many tourists not sure on this island they do well. and the problem is i don't know if you can hear or we can hear music that's coming from gilly t yeah. so gilly minnow is the relaxing island but unfortunately you can hear all the parties from gilly t so where we are is actually okay we're kind of like in the middle of the island ish but if you're on the beach side it'll be very loud mm. so it's nice it's supposed to be relaxing so maybe gilly air which is further away from gilly t might be better but we don't know. Uh, so we're gonna go to sleep and we're gonna show you the rest of this island because especially the snorkeling because it's gonna be amazing. Mm, look forward to it. So we'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, so next morning and we are here not far to where we had dinner last night and we thought there'd be a good view of the mountains but unfortunately not. We'll try again tomorrow. It's very misty and foggy. <laughs> we thought there'd be a clear view of uh, Mount Rinjani Unfortunately not. So we're going to head back round. Uh, we slept all right, but I slept quite well. Uh, the mosque was loud about 4 a.m. Okay, so we're walking through the middle of the island now. Just beautiful palm trees, beautiful weather. There's only like 300 to 400 residents on this island, so not many locals at all. Okay, so we're going to go in the water. She had a bit of a disaster. She went in the toilet in the restaurant and there was no sign that they'd literally just painted it. The toilet seat. The toilet seat. Yes. So Kasha sat down, got it all over her, and then they gave her some petrol thing to clean herself up. The paint was everywhere 
and the first I tried with water when I was there but I didn't realize it was like the oil paint then so the, I made the words that they gave me petrol now I smell so bad of petrol so cash is gonna get in Cash is chasing a turtle Turtle like came right close to shore. By the time I turned it on, it had gone back up. It's there now. Where? By the boat where that guy's swimming to. Literally just put his head up. Oh, the cheapest place we found, yes. having a curry. And look at it's just right on the beach. Yeah, it's quite nice. We I, asked, stay here oh, I asked where the toilet was, and they said over here. So, uh, oh. <laughs> so I'll take you on this toilet experience. Toilet. They said over here. Is it a toilet? Ah, okay. <laughs> Privacy is not going to be a thing here. Most least private toilet I've ever been in. Uh, people watching there, here. People watching here. Ah, that was fun. Getting that Instagram shot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've rented snorkel equipment. Usually it's for a day, but because it's uh, 2 o'clock already, we asked them, can we bring them back tomorrow? And they said yes. So that's fine. So we've got it for 24 hours. It's uh, 50,000 each. 50,000 each, so £2.50. Like We're going to put the waterproof stuff on the GoPro and we'll see you in the water. Let's hope we see some turtles. Woohoo! So we finished the snorkeling for today. Loads of turtles around. Just so easy to see a turtle just swim off the beach and you see a turtle. I think if you want to like if you're on a budget, um Gili Gilimeno is the best. Like, yeah, because loads of boats tour. were coming from the other islands yeah. to see this. They offer you tours from here, which is a bit ridiculous because you can just swim out and see the stuff. But there's one thing we didn't show you on our snorkeling, which we're gonna get up early and show you, which will be really cool. Yeah. Super excited for that. So we've come to this restaurant. And we've come for the sunset and some food. It's really I might like it. Cheers. It's oh, sweet. I like it. Beautiful. No clouds obstructing today. And it's gone. And it's gone. You enjoying the wine, Kasha? Yeah. I'm just trying to yeah. drink alcohol. Um, it's gone to England. It's 7 past 11 in England. It's gone to England. It's already in England. In like 53 minutes, it's going to be like right in the middle of the sky in England. Uh, the sky is looking really nice. Look at that. That's more like in Qatar, yeah? Yeah. Okay, we're walking back to the hotel and uh, the mosque is in full flow. Yeah. Call for a prayer. Yeah. So loud. So loud. I mean, it's crazy loud here. Crazy loud. So you probably can't hear me that well. Another day done in Gilly Minnow. So Kasha's showering in there. 
and we're going to sleep. So see you in the morning for the cool part of snorkeling. We've got to show you something really cool. So see you in the morning, very early. So we finished snorkeling this morning. Uh, we wanted to show you the statues. Um, as you saw, it was insanely busy, like dangerously oh busy. Yeah, I think sooner or later someone's going to drown there. Uh, accidentally, I swear, I hit one little girl on the face with my fin. Yeah, it was so and overcrowded. The, I was diving and like I get got out and uh, I couldn't get on the top back out because so I literally dove, was it, dived in someone. Yeah, so you know it would you be beautiful. Drown. I think you need to go very early or very late in the evening to get it quieter than that. It was insane. Again we wanted to get up early but we're too lazy for that. So we've <laughs> yeah. come here, uh, the resort, and they had like a deal on with pizza and beer so we thought we'd stop here and relax for a long time. It's really nice. I've got a um, mocktail and then has a beer. Beer, mocktail, mocktail. healthy cocktail. So we, we are chilling here for most of the day. Very chilled out, so happy at the moment. And we've left our hotel, our oh. homestay. Sum up. Sum up, Gilly Menno. It's nice if you're looking for a beach. Yeah, for um, a holiday, beautiful, relaxing. Nice restaurants on the beach. Yeah. If you just want to snorkel around and like look for turtles, it's quite cool. But fish-wise, not too many. And the statues, you have to go early or just late. Just go at the right time, very early or very otherwise late. Otherwise, you might drown. <laughs> <laughs> um, but overall, very nice, chilled yeah. out island. Very quiet. We actually spoke with someone and they said that 30 years ago they had no electricity here. I used to well. visit here, no electricity, no so tourists, just wooden huts. So but he also said that he's not been for a while and he can see that it's going to turn very high-end resorty here. He thinks that's the direction it's going. But for now, it's still quiet, nice. Yeah. Uh, nice vibe. So we really like it. We're now going to get a ferry to Gilly Air. We're not staying there. And then we're going to get a ferry to Nusa Penida. Yes. That's our plan. We'll see you in Nusa Penida. See you in Nusa Penida. Bye bye.